I I would be shocked if they don't make it. All I wrote here was Karen is ready, and it just yeah, I was like, oh, you guys, you guys are stop hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is okay today i am going to be talking to you about married at first sight season 11 episode 8 yes all right so this episode this is them after the honeymoon and um them spending time with their friends and you know of course their friends being curious as to what is going on also just having a gathering of like i said friends and family i thought that was very beautiful i it was a like light airy fun episode if i must say let us start off talking about woody and amani so um of course we already know woody is and he admitted it woody really really likes amani and woody is falling for amani here is my apprehension his friends kept saying how like woody went from single woody to like married woody and he wasn't a relationship type of woody and they were very proud of him they were very happy for him they obviously knew that he really liked amani um amani's friends ah, they saw her in like her element if that makes sense they were like oh this this is happy amani i don't know what what's with me and men's manicured nails but like woody's nails are pretty manicured the same thing for miles as well like their fingernails are quite beautiful like i was very like impressed it looks like they take care of themselves of course i love his compliments they he's very quick to compliment her um i don't know if i've seen amani do much complimenting as much as she does more like this is what i like in this moment or like you know i guess they have real conversations that's something i i've noticed they have like serious honest conversations with each other and right now they seem to be both in that honeymoon phase and so i'm like look write it out for as long as you can let's move on to brett and it's starting to feel like he it's starting to look like he really has a problem with her earning more than he does i think that maybe maybe the feeling of like the fact that he can't take care of her the way th or like the way she wants to be taken care of um is probably getting to him but what i do love is the fact that they were able to sit together and olivia was able to be like you know what let's talk about budgeting she said she spends 500 dollars on entertainment on eating and like enjoying herself every month look the thing is i can't knock her she making the money here's my only thing about it about the whole financial thing is the fact that i just feel like she has debt <laughs> she owes money but she's like lavishly spending hers looks like she's open-minded about brett helping her out um with getting like her stuff in order financially so i thought that was beautiful but yes i do think that brett has a funny way of talking about things he said she doesn't have a budget like reasonable like how reasonable people do and i'm just like that's an insult <laughs> like that's an insult she's not a kid like she she's done very well for herself thus far i really do love the fact that they actually like they got along because i was looking forward to like seeing what would happen when they when pastor cow left and they actually had to sit together and talk about it y'all am i the only one he made me so nervous because he chucked down that drink so fast in that bottle and i was just like oh my goodness this is about to be this is about to be drunk bread but he held his own it seems it seemed like he didn't have any drunken moments or any drunk moments and he was able to still have conver conversations what we didn't see is him talking to olivia's friends um we didn't see that conversation we did see olivia talking to i think it was her friend um about the marriage thus far um when i say that i mean like in the party like at their house i didn't see like the tell me what i need to do to make it better tell me what i need to do to make it better i didn't see that but i did see that with the other couples so i thought that was beautiful anyways from the other couples um so let us talk about amelia and bennett uh, my favorite couple thus far you guys already know that one thing i said here was bennett making things play for his family you look i feel like i would slightly hate to be in his sister's shoes or perhaps his family's shoes like i can't imagine um somebody that you're so close to and you guys have basically been together forever to you know your brother saying like you know hey i'm i'm ready to move you know i'm willing to move if she has to move i'm going to move with her i was just like i appreciate bennett because bennett is very like seems to be very mature has a mature way of thinking as well um i personally think he's full of wisdom in my opinion um but i i, I, I was shocked that he made that decision after like two weeks right of knowing her i understand like you know he's married so i get that but 
if I was his sister, I definitely would be like, Day, what do you mean you're leaving? You know, and obviously to the sister, she's still a stranger, right? We haven't even spent time together. I could see where she was coming from when she referred to Olivia as a stranger because to her, Olivia is a stranger. But to Bennett, he's so serious. And same thing with Amelia. I think they're both very like into this marriage or into making it work like honestly i was just like wow this is literally this is what it looks like to let it like let go just being like open-minded enough to be like look i'm giving you look we're both gone just just open your heart i was very impressed and i also love do y'all love the painting you guys they made like this it's one oh man let me tell you Something I wish I could, like, I wish I was artsy, like, you know what I'm saying? I wish I was very, like, into drawing and making, like, something out of nothing. Oh, wow, like, I wish I was like that. But the drawing, they made this drawing, um, and they, they like, it was basically the friends. It was Amelia's friends, it was Bennett's friends, and they came together in the house, obviously, to, like, do, shoot, you know, play games and get to know each other better. Um, And they also, like, they all drew this, they made, like, this huge painting, and I was just, like, that is so beautiful like that's something you would cherish because it's like your friends my friends like you know look they're gonna make it work like i i will be shocked if they don't make it that's that it's still my favorite couple okay that's not gonna change i don't think so um so let us talk about miles and karen where do we start like karen was definitely more open this episode um she you know they gave each other kisses or whatnot well most are like he kissed her which is like slightly awkward for me because i was just like why she act like she wasn't into it? But I love the fact that like Mouse is willing to converse with her friend and basically her friend was just like, honestly, she loves being submissive. She just loves certain things and she she loves a manly man. She loves somebody who will take charge. And, she, and he's been very like, obviously like hesitant to like move forward and push forward with things and all in the name of respecting her and respecting, you know, her privacy and all of that. It looks like she, he was willing to learn everything he could learn about his wife miles was like you know i'm ready i'm chapstick ready when you are type of thing and um and she was just like well it's not like you know <laughs> women 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 we women yo and she was just like you know it's not like if you were to kiss me i would be like ew no you know like i wouldn't do that and obviously that's that's letting her letting him know like Bro, do something, do something. So yeah, he finally did kiss her and um, she was very like, she was, you know, she took it, you know. But it just seemed like that's what you wanted, right? And I was just like, bruh, like sis, no. But then the second time they kissed in front of their friends, it took them so long. It was a dare and one of um the friend, one of their friends said, I don't know which friend it was, said that, you know, I dare you guys to kiss each other. And um, it took them like five minutes. It just seemed so long. Like just not even get it out the way. But you know, um, Karen, it was more Karen, okay? Y'all are married. She's trying to come out of her shell. She's actually trying um to be that wife. And um yeah, and Miles acknowledges that as well. So I think that that's all that matters, you guys. So I have a baby steps with her as it is with a lot of us, okay? All right, we're all learning. <laughs> Let's talk about Christina and Henry. Where do I begin with this couple? Not only did Ken not only did Henry friend zone his wife okay he also he also said last 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 episode that he's gonna try to he's gonna try like he's gonna it's gonna be slow but he's trying as of today's episode uh he was over it okay let me tell you what i wrote i say he's really over her the patience thing is a big deal for him she seems frustrated i like henry he's been more vocal because he was like this was an episode that I don't know if it was due to frustration, but he definitely let her have it in his way. Like he wasn't yelling or anything, but he did let her know like you're very impatient. You get very agitated. Like I'm, you get very frustrated. They're doing their job, which is true. Like <laughs> I feel like there's one person in on every season that like has a problem with production but she just seems very very impatient. She complains about every single thing. I'm not saying that I'll do any better in her shoes because. I understood where she was coming from when she said that, you know, Henry doesn't, like the producers text her to start the conversation. The producers text her to start something and not necessarily the other way around. Nobody is talking to Henry about how Henry needs to start a conversation. And then she asked Henry a question. I'm guessing the producers told her to ask a question. She asked Henry a question like, what's something about your childhood that you want me to know? And Henry was like, oh, man, my brother used to fight a lot when we were younger. And her very next response was, oh, this is what you want me to know about your childhood? 
See, that's not how you that's not how you keep a conversation flowing. Okay, that's gonna shut me off because the little thing I did tell you about, you it's probably not it's not that deep for you. He opened up and he explained like the things that she does. I felt like wow, we're finally getting to know who Henry is. I like Henry. I like Henry for sure. Unfortunately, it still ended up in shambles because um, um, Christina got very upset, like I said, and frustrated. And so um, Henry was just like, I'm just, I think it's just good that we don't, we give each other a couple of hours um, and get some air. And so he took his phone. I don't even know if he got his keys, but he definitely walked out. And on his way out, like in the hallway, he was just like, I'm done with this. I just feel like, who, first of all, for you to get Henry mad, you, you're the problem. So anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me your comments down below. I love interacting with you guys. I love having the conversations that we have. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to be kind to yourself as well as others around you. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.